<laughs> it's ironical, right? You have your NCRT, you sit with the NCRT on your study table and you're just scrolling pages to pages from chapters to chapters to topics to topics. But unfortunately, you're not able to figure it out what should we learn and what not. Is this a new scam done by the NMC? Stay with me and we will discuss whether it is or not. Hello everyone, I am Harsh. Many of the students are constantly asking me that whether should we follow the new NCRT syllabus or whether should we follow the syllabus given by NMC or whether should we follow the old NCRT. After watching so many videos, I came to know that no one is giving a proper solution to you. So here, let's do the unboxing of NMC syllabus and what to do and what not to do during this case. Remember that this is a very crucial time and a single mistake can destroy your career. So here are some of the facts which I have found from the NMC syllabus. First of all, there is a term which is rationalized and this term means nothing just to rearrange things to happen in a smooth manner. So the NCRT has rationalized its content so that some of the topics which we have read in class 10 can be removed in class 11 and the topics should not be repeated again and again. That's what NCRT has done. If we go to the unit wise, in unit 1, what is living is present in the NMC syllabus but it is not present in the new NCRT. So this is a part what is living which is not present in the new NCRT but NMC has considered it. In unit 1, chapter 2 there is no such changes. In chapter 3 which is plant diversity, the angiosperm part is removed and that's pretty decent. We have to study that angiosperm thing in sexual reproduction in flowering plant. Now if I talk about the animal diversity, again there is no change. But the next unit, which is unit 2, is very confusing. NMC said that modification of roots, modification in stem and all these things they are going to give. But NCRT said that they are going to remove all of the things. So here again there is a controversial part that NMC is saying that I will include it in the NEET syllabus but NCRT, the new NCRT, the rationalized NCRT doesn't have this part. Similarly, if I talk about the anatomy, in anatomy also everything is included but those things are not present in the new NCRT and this confusion is same in animal tissue, epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, all these tissues are deleted and the whole chapter is almost deleted but NMC says that this will be present in NEET 2024. When we move forward, we are talking about the cell unit. In cell unit, everything is fine except that in biomolecules, there is a small topic which is added which is known as classification and nomenclature of enzymes. And you all know that in plant physiology, the transport in plants and mineral nutrition is totally deleted. When I talk about the plant growth and hormones, that chapter, there are some chapter which is deleted. If I talk about the plant growth and development, in that chapter, there are some topics which are deleted, which is vernalization, seed dormancy, photoperiodism, so we don't have to study these topics. Next, moving on to the human physiology. Digestion part is deleted. And if I talk about the respiration, circulation, all these things are same. No things are deleted, neither added. But if I talk about the nervous tissue chapter, which is neural control and coordination, in that chapter, ear and eye is deleted. Rest. Human physiology is same. Now, if I come towards the class 12th, in class 12th, the first chapter is deleted and there is no change in rest of the chapter in this particular unit. When we go to the genetics unit, again, it's pretty much similar. The only thing which is added in the molecular basis of inheritance is the protein synthesis. So, keep in mind that protein synthesis we have to study because it is added in the NMC syllabus. 
Although this topic we were doing, but now we have to pay a little more attention to it. Now, let's go to the chapter Human Health and Disease. And in this chapter, two things are added which is Dengue and Chikungunya, along with the tobacco abuse. If I talk about the other chapters in this unit, we have the microbes in which there is no as such any major changes. Why? If I talk about the next chapter which is enhancement in food production, that chapter is completely deleted by NMC. We have an important unit now which is biotechnology. So this biotechnology is as it is. There is no change in any of the contents by NMC in biotechnology. Now here is the biggest chunk of our NEET syllabus which is ecology. And you will be amazed to note that in this particular thing, the environmental issue is completely deleted and the chapter which is organism and population, in this the habitat and niche part is deleted. While if I talk about the ecosystem, in this all those cycles, nutrient cycles and all those things are deleted. Which means that you have to study only those things which is present in the new NCRT for this particular chapter. Let's move on with the next chapter which is Biodiversity and in this Biodiversity Sacred Grooves is added. So this was all about the curriculum which was sent by the NMC for NEET 2024 students. If you found this video useful, share this among your friends and subscribe to this channel.